Hey everyone. Today I am going to do a year and a half review on this power jack power inverter pure sine wave split phase a battery charger as well. It's a 8000 watt consistent and 32,000 peak surge. I bought this a year and a half ago. Been using it to power my entire house. Uh, I must say that um, for the price, if you don't gotta use it for anything heavy, anything heavy at all, then it uh, it would probably do okay for you. Um, I think you can get these pure sine wave inverters as low as 2,000 watts. I sprung for the 6,000 watt and ended up getting sent an 8,000 watt. So this should have been more than plenty to serve its purpose out here at my place. Unfortunately, um, I do not have much good to say about the power jack power inverter. For everyday use, it, it powered okay. But uh, if, if I had to use, um, let's say, appliances or whatnot that I um, shouldn't be using on a typical off-grid system, these power jack converters just could not handle it. Um, I started having problems using a vacuum. Vacuum is, you know, 12 to 15 amps. So, you know, 1,500 watts, maybe a peak surge of 2,000 watts. And, you know, obviously with the stats this could do, it should be able to handle it, but, uh, when I went to use that vacuum, it was the first time I blew some MOSFET boards on this. And I was forced to use my um, backup inverter. It was just a regular sine wave, not a pure sine wave. This is modified sine wave. I had to use that for about a month until I got new parts. Straight from China, of course, for this. You cannot get parts for it on eBay. You can't get it anywhere but their own website. You are at their whim as far as getting any sort of parts for this. Um, after I had gotten some parts for it, the MOSFET boards, um, they sent me an email saying that the MOSFET boards that they make now are not compatible with the um, one of the main boards on the inside of it. So they forced me to buy um, a new one of those main boards. Uh, I would hope that they would have added it to the order, but instead charged me for a separate order. So I got charged twice for shipping. Forty dollars in total for uh, uh, some circuit boards. Uh, was not happy with their customer service at all. I do not recommend um, having to deal with them if, if you can avoid it. If you ever get one of these, uh, once the parts finally arrived, I changed over the board and the MOSFETs, all of them. There are four MOSFET boards in total. And this is what they look like. So I had one bad board and three used boards and received my four new ones. As you can see, this is the boards. You can see the charred mess it has on them. These things were just absolutely destroyed. I 
I tell you what, this thing took out my furnace last night, and it was the last straw. I will not be hooking this back up. I will be getting myself a new inverter. It was minus two degrees last night. Minus two when this went out. I have a 1000 watt microwave and believe it or not that 1000 watt microwave took out the MOSFETs. This inverter cannot handle all that much. Nowhere near what it's rated for. They'll say on their websites and they'll say in their tech support if you're having problems and you keep blowing MOSFETs is that you have a main board issue. Well, keep in mind, they made me buy a new board. Here it is. So this is the board that came out of there the first time that I replaced. You can see in the corner there's a date on it. It's no different than the date on the board that they sent me. Same number on the components. It is absolutely no different uh, what I had in there compared to what they sent me. I think uh, I think they took me for some money there is, is what happened. Lesson learned. Spend the money, get a nice inverter. Inverters are your lifeline for your electricity in your home, so don't go cheap. Don't be left out in the cold like I did last night. Minus two degrees and I was spent down here plugging in this old inverter, modified sine wave, freezing my butt off all because this could not handle anything substantial at all. Um, so that is my very critical year and a half review on the PowerJack Pure Sine Wave 8000 Watt Low Frequency Split Phase Power Inverter. I will uh, be getting a new inverter. I don't know which brand I will be going with. I will be doing my research on the quality of them. I will be spending the money to get myself a decent inverter. I do not like being put in this position where this is going out in the middle of winter. I've already begun disconnecting it. I'll uh, probably end up throwing this on eBay for parts of repair, whatever somebody might want to do with this. I'm not happy with it. So, All right there, folks. If you have any questions, send me a question. Um, this concludes my uh, review of the uh, power jack inverter. I hope this uh, edu educates you really well if you were uh, at all thinking about getting one of these. My recommendations is don't. Do not. All right, folks. Uh, hope you have a wonderful 2021. This is Autarky Homestead. I'm out.